Cush Sovereignty, Black Righteousness By L. James Bolin Chapter 2 Samuel and Cush On this day in 3190, Samuel took his grandson Cush to a nearby creek. Early that morning, Cush thought they were going fishing. By this time, he was ten years old. As a child he was unable to pronounce the word granddaddy and started calling his grandfather, Dan Daddy. Cush asked, Dan Daddy, do you want me to go and round up some bamboo for our fishing poles? Samuel smiled. Today we will not fish. Today is a day of learning. You're of the age now that I can teach you some of the things that I want you to know as a man. Cush looked up at his grandfather, what is it, Dan Daddy? Samuel pointed to a nearby log, there, sit down. A small amount of sand, leaves, and sticks was just a few feet in the middle of the creek. He grabbed a large rock and threw it into the creek, what do you see? The boy was confused and shook his shoulders, nothing. He waited for an hour, repeated it with an even larger rock and then asked again, what do you see? Cush made up things, hoping to guess what his grandfather was trying to say, but Samuel just smiled. After hours of sitting there and repeating the same thing, the sun was on top of them. Cush became very impatient with his grandfather, for he was hungry as his stomach growled, tell me, Dan Daddy, because I don't know. All I see are those ants. They keep trying to go to the other side and you keep messing them up with those rocks. The bigger the rock, the harder it is for them to rebuild. They're probably mad at you by now. Samuel laughed so hard, he cried, wiping the tears from his eyes, My dear son, I wanted you to see the little things, the details. And all this time you did. This lesson has two things I want you to remember in life. Look. He pointed to the ants, you were right. Each time I threw the rocks in the water, they continued to come toward the shore by making themselves in a circle of floating ants. Some die, but they kept doing it. And the larger the rock, the wider it spreads the ripples out. They remained determined to make it to shore. Even after I built barriers in their way, they continued to make it to shore. But the only way is by sticking together in harmony. He paused as his grandson smiled, then continued, life is the same way. Still, one cannot make it in this life without patience and harmony. Cush looked puzzled, I don't understand. What's the second lesson Dan Daddy? Samuel reached down and grabbed his grandson by the chin, shaking it softly, never give up, no matter the obstacles.